how to check if a file exists using Jenkins. Let's take a look at a few of the different ways that we can check if a file exists when running a job in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.332.3, and attached to this controller, I have an agent, and I've also gone ahead and prepped five different jobs to run. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that will have the definitions of each of these jobs. Before we start taking a look at the jobs, let's take a moment and look at the documentation for file exists. We can use it in either scripted syntax or in declarative syntax. And the basics of it is that we pass in what we're checking for. So in this case, it's looking for source main resources index HTML. And if it's found, it would echo out that the file was found. So let's go over and take a look at our first example. In test one, what we have is something very similar to what we just looked at. We're going to check if a file exists by using a script block within our steps of our declarative pipeline. So we're going to say script, if file exists, file text, and then we're going to echo out file text found. Okay, let's click on save and let's click on build now. Now in this workspace, there is no file.txt file. So what we're going to see from the output is it's checking for file exist. It didn't find anything, so it didn't echo anything out. But when using the script block within a declarative pipeline, that sort of smells a little weird. We have the ability to use the when condition within a declarative pipeline. So let's go take a look at our test number two. So in test two, we're doing the exact same configuration, but instead of using the script block and using an if within the step section, what we've done is we've moved our check for file exists up into the when block for the stage, and we're using an expression conditional. So we're saying when expression return file exist file.txt. The return file.txt is going to return either true or false. If it returns false, which in our first case it will, then it's going to skip running the steps. Let's click on save and click on build now. If we take a look at the output of test two, what we're going to see is stage check file was skipped due to the win conditional because file.txt did not exist. Let's go over to test three. With test three, what we have is similar to test two, except now what we're going to be doing in the very first stage is we're going to go ahead and create an empty file.txt. And then we're going to do the same check as what we just did before. Let's click on save and click on build now. And if we take a look at the output of one, we do our touch file.txt. We can see that the file exist check happens. And then we echo out file.txt was found because in the first stage, we created the file and in the second stage, in the win conditional, we checked for the existence of that file. And since it was found, we got the echo out saying that the file was found. Now, file exists works beyond just files. We can also check for the existence of directories. Let's go over to test four. And in test four, what we're checking for is source slash main. And all that says is we're looking to see if in the workspace, the directory structure of source slash main exists. So let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. And again, this directory, other than having file.txt in it at the moment, is empty. So there should be no source slash main found. And sure enough, the stage check directory was skipped due to the win conditional because source slash main does not exist. Let's go over to test five and let's see what we're gonna do here. In the first stage, much like going back to test three, when we created the file.txt file, what we're going to do here is we're going to make the directory for source main, and then we're going to check for the existence of source main. Let's click on save and click on build now. And we can see here from the output that when we created our source main directory structure, when we do a file exists, it passes, and therefore we get the echo of directory source main found. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.